What is good? We're back. Got a uh, another rookie breakdown, but hitting you with the last year's crop of rookies. We're bringing them back around. Got a little little mini series going here with those guys, recapping some of last year's rookies, giving you a brief synopsis of uh, where they stand in our uh, overall kind of standings here and what they did on the season. So today we're going to get into a little Jalen Waddle here. How you feeling about old Jalen? You got something to say before we get into Jalen or what? No, nah, my two, my newborn was up all night, mm-hmm. but the show must go on. I'm J- I couldn't miss Jalen Waddle because I the man get. is fantastic. He needs a round of applause. Yes. A plus. We need a applause. A plus. Yeah, yeah. Best I can do. <laughs> oh, modern day applause. <laughs> yeah, modern day right. applause. As the kids would say. Um, before we get into Jalen Waddle, go ahead and make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit us with comments, likes below. Anybody you want to talk about. Or, hit, me with uh, that, hit me with that thumbs up or comment. Help the algorithm out. Help you boys out. And if you're listening on the podcast, uh, hit us with that five-star review. Definitely helps us out. You go, just go over there, click the five stars. They don't have to say anything anymore. Mm. Uh, so all that stuff greatly helps us move forward, keep bringing you this content. Let's get back into Jalen Waddle. Mm. So wide receiver 14 on the season. Preach. Wide receiver 14 in points per game. Um, caps all that off with breaking a rookie record set by Arizona Cardinals Anquan Bolden in 2003 um, for the most receptions by a rookie, 101. And those are the only two rookies uh, with NFL with 100 catches in the NFL history. He's better than um, Anquan? So, I mean, he's basically, you can Love just go that. ahead and chalk this up. He's Anquan Bolden. We'll see you later. All right. Uh, so, facts are facts. Says it right there basically 100 you just got to connect some dots yeah make Um, a little leap it's a jump it's a mat with different conclusions on it (laughs) right you just that you can jump jump to to. jesus uh so 131 targets that's good for 10th 99 uh receptions actually he's had to have more than that because he broke the 100 101 reception sorry when i gathered these numbers it's just through week 17 so he must have broken 100 which now he's not as good as anquan because anquan only had 17 games sleuth detective work there just you know really really wait anquan only had 16 games 17 weeks jalen had 17 games anquan's better damn it back to anquan Never mind. I guess that's it. Is the video over? Yep. That's everything I had. <laughs> um, so he had a, has a thousand yards regardless. He scores a bunch of fantasy points. Um, not a ton of TDs, but, you know, that's that's something that can go up and down in his first year. Uh, 11th in Yak with 437. Yeah. So that's pretty pretty strong. Yeah. 7.1, ADOT, oh, 32nd. That's terrible. He must. He's back to being way worse than Anquan. Although I would, I'd would, venture that Anquan's ADOT wasn't that great. Yeah, I don't know. Some slot boys have a hard time with the ADOT. It's like their nemesis. The one thing that I saw that surprised me a little bit when going through the, the PFF numbers here was the contested catch. Um, pretty strong, 12. Merkin. Um, so that's 12 Slaying. contested catches. That's 15th. And then missed tackles forced uh, 11. And that's good for 11th. So, you know, just a really strong rookie year here. Um, it's clear that, you know, Waddle's kind of really already burst onto the scene, right? Yeah. Like you said, ADP 29. That's some respect. That's for sure. So third I, round. I was, I was quite uh, surprised because if it wasn't for Jamar Chase... I think this guy would just be getting insane amount of love, but for some reason it doesn't seem like there's a whole lot of love. So it was nice to see that, you know, when you look at the ADP 29 ish and wide receiver eight. So that is some respect from some drafters there. So I like to see that. Mm-hmm. Um, I wish it was actually a little lower. So maybe you could get a little value, but it does seem like maybe there are still not some people who are, you know, this was just six or seven people who decided that. So, you know, there, that, just doesn't seem like the buzz is out there, so I'm, I want to get the I want to get the love and the buzz rolling for Jalen Waddle. You know, I've been trying to acquire some shares, hasn't quite worked out. Which we put a video um, out earlier in the season, earlier in, in season, saying go buy Jalen Waddle before it's too late, and and it was still time. There was still time to get in a yeah. lot cheaper than there is now, but like you said. Still probably seems like maybe it hasn't value. quite got into there. We're like, oh, everybody's in on Jalen Waddle and everybody loves him just quite yet. Maybe I'm wrong, but it just doesn't seem like it's it's quite there. But now we have this little coaching shakeup that nobody really saw coming in Miami. Um, and the head coach is out. Flores is out and they bring in a another Shanahan tree disciple here. Mike McDaniel comes in and gets the job. 
So Cra- that's a whole nother topic of discussion. What crazy thing I didn't nobody saw. I didn't see Flores. Definitely. What a wild situation. Very, very, uh, very right. wild situation. I guess they just weren't seeing eye to eye. One didn't, didn't love Tua, uh, I don't think, either. They he, had some were problems. they trying to pay him for losses? I don't know what was going on. That's a different podcast. Let's stick to Waddle what here. What do you think, Gavin? I have no idea. <laughs> stick to Waddle. Does Flores get another job? Mm, maybe not with the lawsuit. I don't know. Yeah. He's kind of pushing his chips in. Yeah. So do you Flores? Let's talk a little Mike McDaniel here. Another right. Shanahan guy. Um, nobody, not a huge name. I don't think he kind of came out of left field here, where a really emerging for for a head coaching job. So he's touched Kyle Shanahan. So the only time Shanahan and McDaniel weren't together since the year two thousand six was two thousand nine to two thousand ten when he was doing some work in the UFL. Um, but so he's been around Shanahan from Washington to Houston to Cleveland to Atlanta. Like they've they've been together for a long time. And, and you know, Shanahan's right now, his wife know about this. A lot of uh, lot, right. A lot of McVay uh, and and Shanahan disciples right now, which McVay's kind of with the Shanahan thing are all kind of two of them. McVay and, and his disciple are in in the Super Bowl right now. So, you know, it's hot, crazy. hot it's crazy. tree. Every, it's a hot tree right now, which thinks everyone except Niners fans. Niners fans hate Shanahan. I don't, right. I don't understand it. Can't win the big one. <laughs> so really, like you said, I you know, this is a fun a fun hire. It'll, it, hopefully, it pans out. I'm a Niners fan, so I want to see McDaniel do well. Sad but to see him go. It doesn't really seem like Waddle would need any help being great. But if you're gonna tell me I can get a coach here that's basically spent so much time with Kyle Shanahan and been just entrenched and ingrained in that system and that system just so happens to manufacture basically the best yak opportunities in the entire league you have to be fucking jazzed for what could be in store for Jalen Waddle here he went Utah (laughs) Uh, but it's going like, massive. We're watching the Olympics. There's different words for going big. Oh, uh, yeah. You know, astronomical. They, they got the, 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 the. He went juniper on that run. <laughs> they got the thesaurus out and they're, yeah. they're cranking it out. He's in the black hole. For sure. Um, you got this great system that is basically, it's got to be basically what they're going to run. Uh, you know, you like to sh- try to connect. Some people are out on the coach talk, but you try to forecast what's going to happen and what kind of system is going to happen and what's going to, what it's going to be. And, you know, just. Going back over the Yak Kings from 2021, the, the top four guys. It's Cup, it's Debo, it's Chase, and it's Devontae Adams. What do those guys all have in common? They all come from a, one of that Shanahan tree uh, playbook. You know, you got McVay, you got Shanahan, you got uh, what's Zach Taylor you got over Zach in Taylor, and you got he's touched, he's uh, touched McVay and Kyle. the floor over in Green Bay. Now. All those guys also have in common that they're great receivers, but Jalen Waddles just burst on the scene. So basically all the guys in, in something along that's built from the the framework of the system that McDaniels comes from, all those guys were the yak leaders and Waddle was already, I believe, uh eleventh in yak. Yak. Was I gotta that, figure out uh, how to put a crown on the yak. Yeah, eleventh in yak. So if you're gonna add all that into kind of what's already was there, what you just saw from Waddle in the first season, I mean, do we have another Cooper Cup Debo kind of player in the making here? I know he's not built like those guys, but he can certainly move extremely well. He moves better than those guys, I would imagine. He's not, not, more you don't athletic. need to line him up in the at running back and smash him up the middle, but you can get creative with the Robert Woods Cooper Cup usage running the ball a little bit with him. Sure, and and I'm, they put him in motion a lot, and he was moved around the formation. I think it was like a 60-40 split between right. the slot and out wide, and similar numbers to Cooper Cup, and obviously Debo went to went went out Damn. of galaxy this right. year. Uh, but uh, Waddle not as physical, but All guys probably more yak, of a game though. breaker, you know, and Possibly. a yak monster from college. So. I like I like I like what you're putting down. So I mean, Tua and Waddle, you know, they already got some chemistry. I know people don't love Tua. Is is he Stafford to give you the cup dynamic here? No, but I think he could be a better Jimmy G with more accuracy. And he oh, just saw much. Jimmy G Jimmy sucks. G execute this system and and make fantasy receivers relevant. Whether it's you know Kittle. Debo or Ayuk, he's made all those guys relevant at all different times. And, and you give him a guy like Waddle in this system. And I think, you know, it could be great. You get a little bit more motion going on. You get some more jet sweeps, maybe a couple little handoffs, give him the screens and just let him go to work on top of manufacturing those slants, ins and uh, 
you know, I mean, we haven't even seen really much of the over the top stuff, which right, we Waddle did, could definitely take the, the, the top off of. So that's so many times we never even saw him get loose. And looking at the game log here, where are the longs at? 36, 21, 35, 57 was his long. He had another 45 yard catch. Like that, those should be higher. 57 right. should not be the long. You get a better offense that spreads it out and knows how to manufacture those those run after the catch uh possessions and, and put the ball in that guy's hands and I'm 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 loving it. You should probably move him up a couple more spots. You don't have him high enough. You're right. I that's you need probably Wherever you have Jalen right. Waddle, you need to bump probably his should value bump up him up a little, a little bit. bit because this this is this seems like it could be a really great uh tailor made forecasted system for him here. Um and then just on the on another note of somebody who's coming with McDaniels is Wes Welker who uh, Debo when talking about Welker just saying how he made he made Debo into the best version of himself he came in in the best shape because Welker set up an offseason program for him and then was just on install days the way he goes over it and goes through it and just has been there and played and you know so, so he's McDaniel just got a lot of insight. Welker. So Welker's in there and just gets another little just piece picking pieces add, off the add Niners, to huh? you know what could really build Jalen Waddle into taking that next step. And we already saw what the first step of his rookie year was. So I mean, like I said, if if Chase w- wouldn't have done what he had done, I think you know Waddle would be getting that that hot fire uh, fantasy love right now, and it <sighs> it just doesn't seem like he's getting it. All right, well, I just pulled it up, and his ADP was 29, but that was in December, and it actually jumped up to 15 in January. So we now we're cooking with gas. That's some real respect, and he's actually above uh, Debo and Cooper Cup, who we're wide kind of projecting receiver, into those. Wide receiver eight still. But. still okay, so I had, had that right for January, but in February he'll probably be out yeah. by the time this drops, which we'll, we'll do a February ADP review and, and get into it maybe a little bit more. But 15, I mean, are you going to take him over Debo and, and Cooper yeah, Cup? sure. Take him over Dalvin, I guess at this point you got to. Yeah. Give me him over DK. Waddle over DK. Give me him over DK. <laughs> <laughs> I don't Woo! know if I can do that. That's hot fire right there. I don't know. I can't do it to my man DK. Hey, go with what he says. I, I'm, I, got, ba- <laughs> I got baby brain, but I got a DK love. In my Probably mind. some disagreement there, but yeah, I would, I'd, I'd be fine with that swap. Okay. Well, then, shit, we got him into the first round, then. Let's go. Devontae Adams? Let's go. Waddle. Oh, yeah. Give me give me Waddle over Adams. All right. Tyreek and CD. You draw a line there? Um, I guess I guess you could say Tyreek, but, I mean, I like Waddle. And CD? I mean, if you're taking him over all those other guys, why not? I think I, CD, I, I could probably have him kind of in that tier. I mean, he's, he's earned it to me. I mean, he just looked great, and I think what's about to happen right now in this system Shit, he here, might be above CD could, in, in January. I think February. he could really explode. He already exploded. Like, I think this is going to be great. Um, I, maybe this guy, maybe, maybe McDaniels can't handle being a head coach and it's a mess, but I feel like the offense is probably going to be decent. They need to, they need to improve the O-line. It was, it wasn't a great O-line. So, you, you know, you have to fix that up, but you know, Tua was pretty good in, in, in spots. I know people don't like him, but I mean, well, he, he didn't, can, he can facilitate well this really offense hurt, for sure. And then got and a then little what, healthy. What, uh, God forbid they get Deshaun Watson. I mean. Let's go. Right. And like you said, two is enough for him because they're boys and it's already worked. And right. So they're only both going to get better regardless. So I uh, love all that. You got any more little uh, titty bits there? Uh, they, did they, are they plucking more players off well, of the they, Niners or, uh, coaching staff? Just to add time to the end of this video, I guess we uh, – <laughs> John Embry, uh, the assistant head coach for the Niners, uh, they lost him. Uh, the, the Dolphins brought him – McDaniel brought him with him, um, but he was Kittle kind of gave him a lot of accolades and, and uh, credit for molding him into the player that he was and said how fortunate it was that he was his tight ends coach and then moved to the assistant head coach. Um, so, you know, monitor the tight end situation in there. Obviously, Gasecki's going to get love if he get, comes back in there, but, you know, he's a free agent. Hunter Long, he is a free agent. Hunter Long's probably super cheap right now. Maybe try to scoop up a little Hunter Long. You did like Hunter Long coming out, and then he, what, he tore his ACL? No, he just, he got a little hurt in the beginning. Of oh, the, he actually made his way back yeah. to practice towards the end of the he year, right? He just didn't play a whole lot. I right. Mean, they had Gasecki and, and Smythe, I think out there and then Smite me. was Mac Hollins out there a decent amount he's basically like a tight end it seems like right for sure all right well just add a little extra for your pleasure boom if you're listening on the podcast hit me with a five star review let me get that subby if you're on the YouTube. <laughs>
<laughs> and Minty. Just end this thing so you Jesus can just Christ. stop killing it. Baby Bravo. Appreciate y'all. Peace. <laughs>